Hi everyone, this lesson is on weird side effects of metoprolol use. So before we talk about those weird side effects, let's talk about what metoprolol is. So metoprolol is also known as low pressor. It is a medication used to reduce blood pressure and heart rate. So it's going to be a medication used to treat hypertension or high blood pressure, anginal chest pain, congestive heart failure, and acute myocardial infarction. So metoprolol is a beta blocker, so it blocks beta adrenergic receptors, and more specifically, it blocks cardiac beta-1 receptors. And by blocking cardiac beta-1 receptors, it blocks catecholamines from binding to those receptors. And when catecholamines bind to those receptors, and catecholamines are going to be norepinephrine and epinephrine, when norepinephrine and epinephrine bind to beta-1 receptors, they cause activation of that receptor and an increase in heart rate. So blocking those receptors is going to lead to reductions in heart rate and also blocking those receptors leads to the reduction of something called renin release. So renin actually acts to promote blood pressure increases. So blocking both of these can both reduce blood pressure and reduce heart rate. Now the problem is that like many other medications, metoprolol can cause a variety of mild and or severe side effects. Some of the most common side effects that can occur include dizziness. So you can imagine if you're taking too high of a dose of metoprolol, your blood pressure can come down too much. This can cause you to have dizziness, especially dizziness when you stand up very quickly, which would be called postural hypotension or low blood pressure when standing up quickly. So you may feel dizzy when you stand up quickly. Another common side effect is bradycardia. Bradycardia means a heart rate less than 60 beats per minute. So again, if especially you're taking too much metoprolol, your dose is too high, it can lead to a reduction in heart rate too much, and this can lead to a low heart rate. Another very common side effect is headache and fatigue and tiredness. So if you want more information on the most common side effects of metoprolol use, please check out my lesson on the side effects of metoprolol. But in this lesson, we're talking about the weird side effects, the more atypical ones, the ones that we don't think about when we use metoprolol, and they're going to be more rare. Let's first talk about some of the more common ones, and we're gonna break it down into categories. The first category is going to be dermatological or skin findings. One of them is going to be pruritus, and pruritus is going to be an itching sensation. This itching sensation can be generalized, so it can be on different parts of the body, and it occurs in roughly 5% of patients. And then a rash may occur in some other patients. So a skin rash may occur, may look something like this. It can also be generalized as well, can be in different parts of the body. And this too affects up to 5% of patients. So these side effects are not that uncommon, but they are some side effects we may not think about when we take metoprolol. The next category of weird side effects of metoprolol use is gastrointestinal side effects. So one is going to be diarrhea. So diarrhea can occur with metoprolol use. Diarrhea is going to be a loose stool or higher frequency of bowel movements. This also occurs in 5% of patients as well. And some patients may have constipation and it may alternate between diarrhea and constipation, but diarrhea is going to be the more common side effect. Another one is going to be nausea. So feeling mildly nauseous generally is going to be mild. And this also can occur in approximately 1% of patients. And we can also see issues with vomiting as well with metoprolol use. So that's going to be less common than the nausea. Some other weird side effects of metoprolol use include heartburn, so gastroesophageal reflux. This occurs in approximately 1% of patients. Dyspepsia can also occur. So dyspepsia is going to be an indigestion, an epigastric discomfort. So epigastric discomfort is going to be discomfort in the epigastric area. And the epigastric area is going to be above the belly button, kind of in the center, right below the rib cage. This also affects approximately 1% of patients as well. Flatulence can also occur in some patients with metoprolol use. So more flatulence in general and more frequent bloating may also occur. And then xerostomia is something else that can occur. Xerostomia is going to be a dry mouth. So there may be decreased salivation in general. So this is the reason why we can see dry mouth. And because of the decreased salivation, there may also be a bad breath as well. So that can also be a side effect. And the xerostomia is going to occur in roughly 1% of patients. So those are some of the more common atypical side effects, but the next ones are going to be more rare. Some of these include taste disturbance. So taste disturbance can occur. This also can go along with changes to smell. Patients can have an unusual or bad taste in the mouth. This is how it's described. And they can also have issues with metabolic effects as well. So some patients, although rare, can have significant changes in metabolic parameters. These can include reduced insulin sensitivity, so they can have issues with higher blood glucose levels or hyperglycemia. They can have worsened symptoms of hypoglycemia. So if they have a tendency to become hypoglycemic or have low blood glucose levels, they can have symptoms that are worse or prolonged 
so they can have hypoglycemia symptoms that are worse than before. So metoprolol seems to affect glucose regulation in some way. There can also be issues with decreased HDL levels. So HDL cholesterol levels can be decreased and there can also be increased triglyceride levels in some patients as well. Let's move on to the psychological side effects. These include depression, so depression-like symptoms, it's not going to be a major depressive disorder because it's caused by a medication. So the condition here is going to be a depression due to metoprolol, not going to be a major depressive disorder in its own right. What we can see here is a low mood, low energy, and irritability. This can occur in more patients in general, 5% of patients can be affected. Anxiety can also occur as well. So having anxiety and nervousness have been reported. So feeling a little shaky, jittery, feeling a bit anxious can occur with people on metoprolol. And this would be something that was reported post-marketing. Some patients have also described having hallucinations. So hallucinations, again, are a post-marketing report. So something that came out after the trials. So the hallucinations can be either seeing or hearing things that aren't there. These are going to be often mild hallucinations, but they can occur in some patients. Other psychological effects can occur with metoprolol use. These include confusion in some patients, issues with short-term memory, speech disturbances, so issues with slow speech or disrupted speech or issues with speaking in general. So all these can occur with patients on metoprolol as well, but again, very rare. Let's talk about some neurological side effects of metoprolol use. These include visual disturbances. So a wide variety of visual disturbances have been reported with metoprolol use. Again, all very rare, but they can all be things that can occur in some patients. These include blurry vision, double vision, altered color perception, having light halos, so having halos around lights when you're looking at a light, loss of vision in some patients, so maybe mild or transient loss of vision, decreased night vision, photosensitivity, and tunnel vision. Paresthesias have also been noted as well in some patients. So paresthesias are going to be numbness and tingling sensations in different parts of the body. So most of the time it's going to be in the hands and the feet. Exacerbation of Raynaud's phenomenon has also been noted in some patients. So if they have an underlying Raynaud's, which is going to be a vascular disorder involving excessive vasoconstriction of blood vessels in the hand upon exposure to a trigger, maybe cold or some other trigger. If they have an underlying Raynaud's, taking metoprolol may actually exacerbate these Raynaud attacks. So they can have these extreme constrictions of blood vessels in the hand that can lead to something that looks like this which can then eventually recover and become bluish in coloration. So this goes through a particular cycle. If you want more information on Raynaud's, please check out my full lesson on that topic. And cold extremities have also been noted as a side effect as well. So hands and feet can have cold intolerance or feel colder. This occurs in 1% of patients. A lot of this has to do with the effect of metoprolol on beta receptors. So although it's more selective to cardiac beta-1 receptors, it can also block beta receptors in other locations, leading to issues with smooth muscle relaxation. So this is the reason why we can see these particular side effects. And there are many other weird and atypical side effects of metoprolol use. We won't get into all of them. These are some of the major ones in the lesson, but some other ones I want to briefly mention here include the following. Cardiac-related symptoms like chest pain and jugular venous distension. There can also be issues with pulmonary related symptoms like shortness of breath. There can be issues with sexual dysfunction in some patients, including decreased libido and erectile dysfunction. There can be issues with exercise intolerance, and there can also be issues with tinnitus or tinnitus, so a ringing in the ears. So those were some weird side effects of metoprolol use. If you want more information on the most common side effects of metoprolol use, please check out my lesson on that topic. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe for more lessons like this one. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you next time.